Hello, I am Debbie Ridpath OE, children's book author and illustrator. Thank you to everyone who sent me birthday greetings yesterday, um, including my sister and her family. Look at the balloon they sent, as well as um, a wonderful fruit and bouquet with chocolate covered strawberry. But I would show them now, but I've eaten most of it. Um, my sister is also the awesome author and illustrator of the Fox and Squirrel series, Chicken Pig Cow series, and most recently No Help Wanted. I highly recommend you checking out her books. So today I am going to show some of the art, the wonderful art you've been sending me. I'm also going to be talking to you about what a book jacket is and showing you how you can make your own book jacket like this one. I use this to recover an old copy of The Borrowers, which is one of my favorite books. So let's get started. Today we're going to talk about jackets. Not the kind you wear in cold weather, but book jackets. So, for example, my picture book, Sam and Eva, has a Not all picture books have book jackets, but mine do. So here is an example of a book jacket. So there is the front cover, the back cover, there's the spine, and that's the part you see sticking out when there's a bunch of books lined up at the library or bookstore. There's the front flap, which often has a description of what's in the book. You know, like a little blurb about when you see a movie, there's a movie trailer. This is like the equivalent for a book, but on the flap. It's mainly for people who are browsing and kind of want a little taste of what the book's about. Then there's the back flap, which usually has information about the author and illustrator. So today we are going to design our own book jacket. 